Ooh-ah! I smell a woman. I'm gonna dance with her, even though I'm blind. Al Pacino, scent of a woman. And that's my Al Pacino impression. Thank you for watching. That's the end. Um, no, uh, this is my review of Scent of a Woman. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies, legitimately. I love this movie to pieces. I really do. And it's it's actually one of my favorite Al Pacino performances. Um, this was nominated for Best Picture. It did not win, uh, but it did win for Al Pacino's performance, uh, which I thought was well-deserved, because uh, it is one of my favorite performances from him. I know that some people maybe argue, you know, they just gave it to him because... You know, it was his time, he didn't get it before, you know. But I, I think he, he pretty much did deserve it, though. Um, because it is a great performance, and it's just a fine-tuned performance. It's, it, you can equate his perform performance like to like music. It just moves, and, and it is so carefully orchestrated. Um, really, really, uh, you know, while it is somewhat over the top, it's done in a very brilliant way uh, by, by Al Pacino. And I think because there's a dynamic with, with the, uh, the younger character uh, played by Chris O'Donnell, um, I think because, <laughs> you know, uh, Chris O'Donnell's character plays it uh, somewhat, um, you know, down to earth, very regular, um, I, I think the dynamic is good. Um, and so I think it brings it down to a level um, where we're kind of, I he, he's like the audience perspective, basically, of the Al Pacino character we don't know quite to, what to make out of it um, but uh, Pacino plays a, a Lieutenant Colonel Slade uh, who is a, a blind man um, bringing Charlie uh, played by Chris O'Donnell um, pretty much on a, a, a trip to New York and what his intentions are is to pretty much do a kind of last tour of, of pleasures as, as he says um, you know get some good food uh, have, have drinks see family uh, be with a beautiful woman, um, and then blow his brains out. Um, and that's pretty much the plan. And it's, it's Charlie's dilemma to, uh, see if he can stop him, basically. Um, and kind of what works really well is that it, it does have kind of two plots to the movie. One is with his, his road trip with, with, the uh, the Slade character. And another is, he's basically, basically, I mean, what, uh, the, the O'Donnell character is doing. He he was supposed to just be kind of house sitting, kind of just keeping a close eye on <laughs> Slade, um, but of course he he reels him into this trip, um, and he is a poor you know student who who kind of like won the opportunity to go to uh, Baird College, um, very prestigious school, um, and how he he is kind of looked down upon because he isn't like super rich like you know the other super rich kids. Um, and basically, uh, one of the students, or two of the students actually, uh, play a prank uh, on, on the dean um, and embarrass him horribly. And they believe that uh, uh, Charlie knows who did it and they want him to talk. Um, also, one of the other uh, kids caught in the mix is, is uh, uh, another student played by Philip Seymour Hoffman in one of his earlier roles. And he's really good in it, too. Um, so, they, kind of, his, Charlie's conflict is to whether to tell the truth um, or kind of keep silent and, and what's the honorable thing to do what's the the right thing to do and so this movie is you know sandwiched between the school portions uh, of the movie and in between is is the, the New York uh, area with with Al Pacino um, and, and Colonel Slade I mean uh, you know experiencing that I think everything kind of comes together in, in a really really uh, a good way um, and uh, Basically, it's Pacino's performance that, that headlines the entire movie, naturally. Um, but the movie, I mean, it does have these little morals and, and little life lessons that I do like, and, and though maybe some people might be turned off by it, um, I think it's very well done, and it's, you know, it's it's a fairly simple movie with simple lessons, but they're, they're important ones, I think, and, and I think what is great about the dynamic between uh, Slade and, and Charlie is, is how, you know, <laughs> Slade is pretty much trying to corrupt him, um, bring him down to his level, basically, and he's kind of taken su by surprise at, at how admirable and, and how you know unflinchable uh, he is in, in his morals, and, and that kind of t makes him take take a, a kind of introverted look into himself and, and you know what his life has been, and because he does kind of see a, a, a corruptible version of himself that he, he he'd want to mold. Um, so the characters do kind of bounce off each other and learn from each other, 
and uh, it's it's an unexpected relationship between the two and, and it's a very moving one um it is a longer movie i mean it, i think this clocks at like just about two hours and 40 minutes so it's definitely you know uh, not like a 90 minute funny comedy but i mean it definitely takes its time with with the stories because essentially it is two stories in one uh, in in so many ways um and because it takes so much attention to detail, I think it makes the story all the worth telling. Um, it is one of my favorite movies. I think it's very funny, uh, very heartwarming, all that good stuff. This is like basically, mm, pretty much this is like a feel-good movie for me. I can always, you know, uh, turn this on and just kind of just absorb the, the experience and, 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 and the wonderful acting from both uh, Pacino and O'Donnell. Um, and they're great in their roles and their dynamic and their ultimate friendship, uh, which, again, I, I find pretty moving. Um, uh, uh, director of the movie is Martin Brest, uh, who directed uh, the Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, he directed that. and uh, He was nominated for Best Director, but uh, uh, Clint Eastwood won, which I guess, you know, kind of whatever. Um, Unforgiven won Best Picture that year, but this did win the Golden Globe for, for Best Drama. Not Best Comedy, Best Drama. Um, so that's saying quite a bit. Um, all things considered, I think mm, I, I do like this better um, than Unforgiven, though they're two totally different movies. I mean, really, you can't really compare the two. Um, but there's just something about this movie and uh, Pacino's performance. One of his all-time bests and, again, one of my favorite movies that, that I've, I've seen umpteen times. And we'll continue to watch regularly um, uh, for as long as I live. Because I love, you know, going back to the experience of of that crazy weekend, that crazy Thanksgiving weekend with uh, Charlie and with Colonel Slade. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I can't really express into too much detail how much I love and what I love about it, but hopefully I got you the bullet points in, in this review, how much I like it. Um, great movie. Big thumbs up for this movie. Uh, one of my all-time favorites. So, thanks for watching.